Um, my name is Piola. This morning, I um, went to the bank with my 92-year-old dad, you know, to help him out with some transactions. And um, as I've experienced before, we, we were in the bank for more than an hour, and there were not too many people online. There were two tellers, and each teller probably um, service each person for like close to 15, 10, 15, sometimes 20 minutes. It took a long time. My dad was sitting there and when we were leaving the bank, apparently he wasn't feeling well because he was sitting, it was cold. He said he, he was very cold and he blacked out in the bank. We had to call the ambulance. He's in the hospital now. Um, you know, waiting for for service. Anyway, I've experienced this too many times. Going to the bank, most of the the banks, and you have to stand there online for one hour, two hours, and there's no sense of urgency with the tellers or with the management in the bank. And I'm always curious as to why, because I see the tellers. They walk around. They go to make a copy. They chat, they come back, and um, they, they need, you know, they need to reorganize. Management, the banks need to reorganize and be more service conscious. And now my dad fell, hit his head, he's in the hospital, hopefully he will be all right. He'll be 93 year, years old later this year. So I'm very upset, and Trinidad could do better than that. Thank you. Yeah, my name is Francis. Uh, concerned with Piola, and my um, concern with senior citizens in the bank. I, uh, one morning I was in the bank in Marbella, and um, a senior lady wanted to use the washroom, and the canal combinator. And she started the quarrel. She wanted to speak to the supervisor. And from there, I've been watching and concerned about how they treat senior citizens in the bank in fraternity. And my plea and my cry is that the need to put things in place for senior citizens who has already contributed to the system of Trinidad and Tobago. That is my concern about the bank system.